Yeah, it does. That's good. And like the weird thing with the matchmaking in this game is that it like invites people. So it doesn't sort of automatically just Oh, we found someone that's gonna that wants to do this as well, so immediately put them in the party with you. Like it literally pops up as you've been invited from I am the cheek. You're like, what? Well, what the hell is this? So it kind of just I'm hoping they kinda of change that, because that's a bit of a weird system. And it's a bit confusing for people, I think. Because I know I've certainly looked at that and thought, what, who the hell is this dude inviting me to a party? And then eventually went, okay, accept it. And then it was like, oh, okay, that's how the matchmaking works here. Oh, got Pendle Bob. Let's do it. They get to it. Just get in there and stop them. I think once you're ready for the hard difficulty, you have the better gear. Yeah, no, that's true. I doubt we've got the best gear at the minute. Although it looks like the highest tier of gears available to us. The, um... What's it called? Match something. High end. Like, just from the colour scheme they've used, to me that's screaming, this is the best of the best sort of thing. Reminds me of like exotics in Destiny. That is fine. Here we go. Here we go. Let's put, uh, let's put our turret down. Maybe this will be a lot easier now. We've got a lot to play around with. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, no, it is an enemy. It's weird it won't let me shoot for the glass, but. What is? Um. I've had damage. Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't realise you was down. Hello, sniper. You are just in time for some Destiny 2 raid. Uh, not Destiny 2. <laughs> That's my habit. From a, we're doing the raid in Division 2 now. Managed to get to the end game and. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Nice and challenging, but it's in a good way. Oh yeah, of course, Patrick. So I know what you're saying, like, although we've got like exotics in this game, there's no way it's going to be like the best of the best or anything right now. It'd be mad. I think if anything they've just they've just pulled these sort of out of the air and just said right let's give them some so they can have an idea of what these exotics will feel like and be like you know Have you had a chance to play any more Division 2 Sniper? Over 
Oh, I might have my grenade launcher. Yes! Oh, it's so good. I think 100% this is the specialization I'm going to go for when this game launches. Ouch. Get that. UAV is going out. Oh, shit. Morning. Yeah, yeah, nice. How are you finding it? Not done any in game. Yeah, I mean. Uh, like I was saying, I've not long got to end endgame myself. But as you popped in, I think it was just as we finished the first raid. And to be honest, literally as soon as the screen came up saying, Hey, welcome to the endgame. I was like, yup, I'll have some of that and see what it's like. In my skull. Yeah, it's interesting how they do it in in uh, the, this beta. They basically give you three endgame characters, one for each specialization. So you have to log out. And then, you know, log in as one of the endgame characters to actually try out the raid. Obviously, that's the way to do it so they, they can give you this, all the gear in that, right? That drones are up. That's one. Oh my god, these doggies. That was a bit waste, but hey, oh. You're considering getting Division 2? Yeah, me too now, mate. After trying out this beta, I am way, way more interested than I was before. Like, you know, like you know, I, I never really got into Division 1, but. Playing this, this seems brilliant so far. Really, really enjoying it. I think what I like about it as well is that it's... Bucker and Patrick are saying to me earlier in chat is that it's just way more tactical than, say, Destiny or um, what it seems like Anthem's going to be like as well. Like those games are much more kind of feel like an absolute badass and blow shit up. Obviously, there's you do have that to an extent in this game, but it's just less reliant on that, I suppose. Oh god! Wait, are you gonna get off my turret, you fucker? <laughs> I don't know what's going on guys but <laughs> You're disappointed with Anthem? What are you disappointed about Sniper? What didn't you like? Oh yeah, I really think so, Patrick. I think they're definitely different games, just they happen to share the same genre. 100%. What the hell is this? That's... Is this ours? Yeah. That was weird. Also, the smack talk in this game is <laughs> is quite something. 
Uh, I kind of want to chuck my turret somewhere, but I don't want to put it. Maybe give me a seeker instead. Oh, we're done. Sweet. Do I have grenade launcher? Nah, no grenade launcher yet. I wish I always have grenade launcher ammo. Ignoring the fact how OP that would be, but... Uh, maybe I can put my tire here. Yep. Looks like a perfect chance of seeker as well. Oh nice, you can like focus target both of your skills. Oh the hot snipes boys. run is certainly feeling way way smoother than our first one a minute ago where are you going gotcha. what are you doing seeker <laughs> There we go. He eventually decided to go to the enemy. Do a barrel roll. Uh, I think I want to grenade that dude 100%. Defending asset. Oh, I don't have any grenades. Got a seeker though. Expected more and didn't like the control system for flying on mouse and keyboard. I've heard there will be more armor tips, but to get them you need to buy a premium current uh, armor types, but you need to buy a premium curry currency. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying you, um, in the forge when you customize it, ain't it? You can change the look. Obviously, you can change the look of it by paint and everything, but you can. Quite literally drastically changed the look of it. Yep, with the stuff you find. Oh, uh, yep. I know what you're saying. Um, to be honest, I didn't dive too much into the customization with Anthem. So, like on release, if they are going to have a few armor types and then have like majority tied to like microtransactions. Yeah, absolutely, that's gonna fucking suck. And it's just obviously kind of a slap in the face to be to like consumer. Say, well, you wanna make your javelin look badass, you gotta better give us loads of fucking money. Even though you've already paid fifty quid or paying out monthly for a subscription to play as it is. 
Man, it's just. Let's hope it doesn't. Let's hope it doesn't pan out like that. In terms of controls as well, I did. I tried the um, mouse and keyboard flying, and it lasted about 20 seconds before I immediately changed back to <laughs> play with my controller. But I will say, I remember um, seeing one of the devs tweet out that um, the open demo. Not the open demo, sorry. Yeah, uh, no, it's the open bayo they called it, didn't they? Whatever, it's the same sort of thing. Um, they're saying in that that it doesn't include the final releases fixes to mouse and keyboard flight. So hopefully that means you can actually use mouse and keyboard and it's not going to feel like you're going to constantly fly into a wall. But yeah, that remains to be seen, obviously, until the game actually comes out. Hopefully it does, because I'd much rather play with mouse and keyboard, obviously. You know, I've got this. I've got mouse and keyboard set up right here, so I could... She's going to make aiming and all that a hell of a lot easier. System reactivated. I would quite like to be able to use it, to be honest. That's funny, such is the way with third person games. More often than not, they are just way, way easier to control with a, with a gamepad or controller. Just how it is. No worries, Patrick. Look away, dude. Oh, it was demo. My bad. I get so confused because although it's you know it's nowadays what companies call a beta is technically a demo uh, it's like <laughs> and from suddenly started calling it a demo again but Vision's calling it a beta my, my brain can't keep up oh grenade launcher yes 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 Oops. Sorry, chat, I'm getting too excited. And that is why I am loving Division 2. Big tanky enemy, he's got fucking army you shoot off. None of this, he's got a hoodie, but he's got a name under his goddamn thingy on the UI so therefore he has loads of health and you've got to shoot him a hundred times. You can visually see a reason why he's <laughs> you've got to shoot him so much. Keeps the immersion in the game. Something I did not get from Division 1. <laughs> but for me a game needs cat needs to catch your interest from the start and Ephraim didn't do that for me. Yeah, uh, it's fair enough, Sniper. I mean, for me, I just fell in love with the flying from the bat. Like, literally just moving around in that game was so much fun. And I just, I'm a big sucker for sci-fi stuff anyway, so, you know, Outer Space Aliens, you've really got me interest just from that, you know. Yeah, to be honest, I'm somewhat surprised you didn't uh, take to it straight away, considering you're a fan of Destiny. I imagine the uh, controls didn't help you though, when you, didn't, when you play keyboards and mouse and it's so difficult. I can understand you getting put off by that. That alone sort of thing. Whoa, 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 
Oh shit. Medical assistance needed. Agent incapacitated. And to be honest, it's not even you, Sniper, like. Remember Cobra? Even he's like not feeling it. Brantham. And that was someone I would have thought would be all over it. Jesus, that is one strong tree. But it proof branches. Hey, don't you? No. Where are you going? I can't, I can't track you. <laughs> God, that hurts. Oh, we really need to get rid of that robot. you two. Two minutes in the vision, that was enough to make you want to play more. No, that's it. I've had the same sort of feeling playing this, to be honest. Uh, what can I... Oh, I've used all my grenades. Like this, I've... I've it requires you to really, really think. It really does. But that in itself just keeps you more engaged with the game, right? Wait, get off my turret, you little fucker. I mean, to be honest, that's not to say Anthem is never gonna... It, it will not or will never have modes like that which will be so challenging that you have to like think on your feet and you know consider how you're doing things a bit more but from what we've seen in um, demo and whatnot it feels like it is less tactical and is more sort of run and gun but you don't have to think so much, basically. You want to go in right now and try to get to the end game? Brilliant. Go it, Sniper. To be honest, if you just want to sort of rush and get to the end game, um, just do the main missions. I can't remember which main mission it was exactly, but the second you do one of them, it literally just triggers a little a little screen that says, you know, welcome to Endgame. There's three characters waiting for you, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'd suggest that if that's what you want to sort of do today. 100%. It's not ready actually. Yep. I guess there's that walker thing or something. Thanks. Just destroyed my uh, seeker every time I put it down. Ready? Back up again. Oh, grenade launcher. Yeah. I 
Oh, you still gonna hang out here. It's cool, cool. And don't feel worried, like, don't worry if you're like, you need to, like, get off and just play, just go for it, sniper, don't worry, mate. I know you like to try and support me as much as you can, but. Don't forget to enjoy your game, too. Damn me, fuck. Alright, um, I don't want to do this. I think I want to put my turret down here. Go on, go, go, go. Beaker has some really decent range. That was a bad miss. Don't judge me. God, we've all forgotten about our teammate over there. <laughs> Sorry. Too many people die. Be the end of us, otherwise. An agent needs assistance. Oh, there's two of them dead now. I've let. We. Want to be a bit careful though. He's the yellow bar enemy. Right, now we're good. Enemy right here. We got a casualty here. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck a duck. Agent out of action. Oh. No, Wiz. Agent. Oh, my God. Actually, I think that pendle, yeah, that pendle bob dudes up again, so that works out. It worked out perfectly. Respawn available. Ah. Oh, that's not too bad then. I thought like that was like, you get killed, that's it, you're done. That someone can get to you. Or like, clear the sort of wave you're on. See ya. Moving to 
on the bus, lads. I have to say, I found the boss fight to be not easy, but like, it wasn't as difficult as, say, that fight we just fought there. Hell? Oh, you gotta wait for everyone. That makes sense. I had flashbacks to the first mission where I kept get, well, the first time I tried to sit down and play the game. I just kept getting the server disconnects after server disconnects like say four times in the space of about 10 minutes and because that happened it bugged out the first mission so that you know the gates you get to just before you get to the lawn of the white house that was closed completely so <laughs> i couldn't get through and because on um, the first time i got through that or past that point or the server disconnected i was just sat there looking at it like I swear this gate was open before. Am I just being stupid? Like, what the hell is going on? And it, 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 I, it literally got to the point where I just had to Google it. Because I was just staring at it like, there's no way I can get around this gate. What the hell is happening? <laughs> it turns out if you get that bug, you just have to literally delete your character and make a new one and start again. Just moved his head. Let's not stand in the open egg. Uh, maybe we could put him in the turret here. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Did you see that guy? <laughs> oh god, the ragdoll. Too strong. Oops. Is this still a normal? Yeah, uh, yes it is. And welcome back, Patrick. She just got to the boss fight yet. What was that? Metal string. Oh, so it must be like a mod or something for a pistol. Boom. We'll have to check the logs to see if they access any sensitive data. But I think we're okay. Good work in there. <laughs> 